if my eyes look a little puffy, uh, please ignore that. It's only because I cried like a little baby in the theater. Want you to stay. Want you to stay. Like normal, there's not going to be any spoilers here. I'm just going to talk about the movie in general and then give my recommendation and rating. But let me first get my bias out of the way. I'm a huge A24 fan. I think they have had a meteoric rise to success over the last three years. And part of it is because they take risk and release movies that other companies aren't willing to. Sure, some of those miss the mark. Like, there's no doubt. Men was an awful movie. But some of them are truly beautiful and amazing works of art that deserve to be in the cinema space. And now they have that opportunity thanks to A24. So Past Lives is an A24 film. Part of the reason I wanted to see it. But also, I saw the trailer and I knew I needed a good, healthy cry and see something that was deeper than what typically comes to theaters. And yeah, that might sound a little pretentious, and I apologize, but let me be honest with you up front. This movie's beautiful. It's... Uh, I'm trying not to tear up now. Sorry, thinking about it. It's a beautiful movie, okay? And it leaves a lot to the audience. However, I want to warn people if you've seen the movie five to seven, it is very, very similar. And I think that's all I'm going to say about it. So let me dive into the plot. Um, the trailer leaves pretty much nothing to the imagination. It's exactly what it shows and is, but it doesn't spoil anything. Um, these two friends in a past live uh, when they were young and in Korea were best friends and then the woman ended up immigrating to America or slash Canada and they want to reconnect after a long period of time. Very simple plot. I mean, right on the nose, straightforward, nothing left to the imagination. And yet it is highlighted and beautiful because of the unbelievable and unparalleled acting of the starting three. So Greta Lee plays the main character. Then there's uh, John Magaro. And then like Teo Yu, I think is his name. I don't want to mispronounce it. I think it's Teo Yu. And those are the three main characters. And what they manage to showcase and encompass on screen is, is art. I, it's, the movie is set up in a way so that 100% of your focus is on the characters. There's nothing special slash outside of that that doesn't in completely narrow your focus onto the characters. Everything from the music to the settings are so light and seemingly unimportant that it leaves only space for the dialogue and the characters. And oh my gosh, let me tell you that this is unbelievable acting. I mean, I'm, again, I was crying. And it, not everyone had the reaction in the theaters that I did. And I'm just a big softy and I love anything romantic. What I watched was unbelievable. I mean, truly, this is a beautiful and a fantastically written and performed script that I think is possibly one of the best films that A24 has ever put out. Greta Lee put on a masterclass performance that I truly think deserves her a nomination for Best Leading Actress this year. Now, sure, there's a bunch of other movies that are going to come out. They're going to get spots, Margot Robbie and Barbie, for sure. But this one, I think, is going to be slightly overlooked because it really didn't have a big release. But, oh my gosh, this movie's worth seeing just for the acting in itself. These characters are so multifaceted and deep and have such rich stories but at the same time they feel almost two-dimensional in a way that you connect with every single one of them and understand their point of view and maybe how they're feeling and what their thoughts are and it's brutal 
It's brutal. I'm not spoiling anything. It is a brutally honest masterpiece. I think everyone can get something out of this movie. However, if you are in an emotional state where you probably shouldn't be watching romantic, brutal movies, don't watch this one. That being said, it's it's 100% deserving of a watch. In theaters, it's, it's an unbelievable experience. I will 100% own this movie and watch it once every two months and cry to it again. It's so rare to watch a performance like this by such a small cast because this film is only focused on three characters. I'm sure there's a few other extras here and there, whatever, of course there is, but it's not important. And as I said earlier, everything leads up to these three characters doing everything. They are wonderful, um, just unbelievable actors and actresses. And I cannot recommend this movie enough. I am warning you though, there is a possibility you might cry at the end of it. Okay, I'm just getting it out there. You can't blame me. And I say all that to really tell you, obviously this movie's worth a watch. Personally, I think it's like a nine. Not probably a nine and a half, personally. I love it. It's phenomenal watching what these three can accomplish on screen with just hints of music and a little bit of, you know, setting to help, you know, bring it together. It is a hundred percent dialogue and script writing, and it's so perfect. It's the delivery, it's the timing. These characters are phenomenal. Greta Lee is beautiful, figuratively and literally. I mean, she crushes this role, and her acting was second to none. So personally, I'm, I'm actually going to probably give it nine and a half. I loved it. I cried like a baby. And I'm walking out of the theater, puffy eyes. I'm sure people judge me, and that's okay. Because it's what I wanted going into this. As a self-proclaimed movie critic, i will probably go like eight and a half, nine. I think it's fantastic. There's some things maybe might have changed but it's it's a work of art and i think everyone can get something from it and i actually want to refine that i'm gonna say nine i'm gonna say nine it's phenomenal i think it is probably the best romantic movie we'll get this year um one of the best we've had in a while in my opinion but if you're gonna go see this it really all comes down to what you're expecting to see again you're in an emotionally vulnerable state probably don't watch this i loved it and it is truly fantastic but i you, you might cry is the warning i'm going to give you that'll be it for this honest review um i think brutally honest because i'm telling you that i'm crying a lot and you know you can judge me for that but that'll be it for past lives i'm not sure what's out this week i think indiana jones so probably we'll see that um try to have the review on that out at some point i'm going to boston this week so it's going to be I'm going to be gone for a week. Either way, if you've seen the movie, please let me know. I want to know your thoughts on it. And if you haven't, I strongly recommend it.